All right, so we are at a very, very cool and old historic Bob's Big Boy. So Bob's Big Boy, as most of you know, is a very uh, popular chain. Pardon me, I'm on a very busy road. Um, I'm here in Downey, California at this Bob's Big Boy. So a little bit of the history. This land was once a chicken ranch and it was purchased by a couple by the name of Harvey and Minnie in 1957, ground broke. And then in 1958, this place actually opened up as a, a restaurant called Harvey's Broiler. And if you can see it okay, it says broiler. It's Bob's Big Boy Broiler. There's a reason for that, and I'll get to that in just a second. So Harvey and, and Minnie opened up this restaurant, and they uh, owned it for many, many years. And then in the late 60s, um, Harvey was older, and Minnie wanted him to basically retire. So they still kept ownership of the location, but um, kind of leased it out to a gentleman named Johnny. And then the name changed to Johnny's Broiler. So this restaurant continued on as Johnny's Broiler um, until... I believe it was December 31st of 2001. Um, unfortunately, the original owner, Harvey, uh, died in the late, uh, late 1980s, and then this restaurant continued on until uh, December 31st, 2001, as Johnny's Broiler, um, and at that point then, um, it officially closed. So after it officially closed as a restaurant on December 31st, 2001, the building was then leased. It was leased to somebody who wanted it basically for land only. They didn't really intend to use the building as a restaurant. Um, they intended to use the building and also this area over here, which you can see is like the original car hop, and it also does have a, a drive through as well. Um, which was original. But anyway, uh, they wanted to use it as um, a like car sales, like a car lot for car sales. And then one of the partners completely flaked out on the lease and so the whole thing just shut down. And the building stayed here in disarray for quite some time. In 2007, um, the city of Downey uh, kind of took over because this building was in the process of being demolished. It was almost completely demolished in 2007 um, without proper permits. So the city of Downey stepped in um, and put this place on the California uh, Historical Registry for this building. And what happened was um, a franchisee came along, a Bob's Big Boy franchisee came along and partnered with the city of Downey. And the city of Downey gave $900,000. And what they did was they went back to the original blueprints, um, original blue blueprints from when it was um, Harvey's and then Johnny's uh, broiler and completely restored the building based on the original blueprint specs. So let's take a little walk around and take a look. They used what parts they could salvage from the um, quote unquote illegal demolition. And so I don't know exactly what things are original here and what aren't, but it was in um, 2007 when um, the city took over and then in 2009, October of 2009, is when it officially opened as this Bob's Big Boy. So if you want all the so full details on the complete history of this place, I just gave you a brief overview. Um, there's a great website that I found a lot of details on. It's called Jalopy Journal. Dot com, and then you can also go to the City of Downey website as well. So, and now let's go on in and check out some of the food. If you're not familiar with Bob's Big Boy, their hamburgers are the best. And what makes them awesome and unique is their red relish. So let's go get you some. Now the famous menu. There it is, gonna get me one of those. Even have a counter. And when you come to Bob's, you must get a malt. This is a chocolate. They have all different flavors, and their malts are to die for. And then, of course, you get the, the shaker with the extra, because you got to have the extra, because it's really thick. And yeah, we're gonna share the malt, right? Uh, we're sharing it, right? Course. Right. Absolutely. Yes. We'll be sharing it shortly. Yes. Anyway, the malts are the best. And as I walk and get a shot of this drive-thru, which is actually still open and functional at a Bob's Big Boy, which is interesting. Um, but I guess not, because, you know, it used to be something else. But anyway, um, security guards inside told me that um, when this place was Johnny's Broiler, and of course before it, Harvey's, the bathroom was outside. So I thought that was kind of interesting. Mm-hmm. Yep, still a fully functional drive through Car hop thing's pretty cool. I wish it were still a car hop though, with you know girls coming out on roller skates and taking your order and bringing your food. That would be that'd be cool. 
I don't know if it was like that once. That's pretty sweet drive through. So I found this snail in the grass. I love snails. And I picked him up and then I realized his shell is broken and he's kind of popping out. He's right here. Poor guy. His shell is broken and then I found the other piece of his shell here in the grass. So I'm going to put him back in the grass. Whoop. I'm going to put him back where he was. And his shell. I don't know. Poor guy. Oh well. So thanks for joining us at the Bob's Big Boy and Downey. Remember, it's got a lot of history. Look at the websites I mentioned and check it out. You gotta come in here because the staff is really nice and the merch is really cheap. So Bob and me, I'm full. We're leaving now.